Hey there, Cancer. This is Kim here to do a reading for you. It's going to be for your next 48 hours. So I started with you because the last few times I feel like Cancer has slipped in the bottom as far as to be done piles. So you're going to be put back on the top. We're going to start with some Gaia Revealed cards just to start your reading out. Next 48 hours, I have one and two, and I promise they are shuffled. Um... <clears throat> One is alignment with Gaia, says the indigenous felt the planet and knew that it was part of them. They had an alliance with Gaia and used ceremonies of alignment, not prayers of asking. The process of alignment is still alive and available to you. And already Gaia is responding to your intent. So number two is ascended land. <clears throat> All across the planet are pockets of ascended land. These places are filled with divine energy and are needed for balance. When you sit in nature and experience an overwhelming feeling of love from Gaia, it's in its most creative form and you are most likely on ascended land. That's nice. That's not, that's like, I just thought of like farmland, you know, and maybe because of, of around here, but um, that's nice. Maybe Sedona. I keep wanting to go to Sedona just to see. I just want to feel. <laughs> I've heard it feels different. Look at this abundance of money. Here's your cry on affirmation, guys. I celebrate spending money because it always returns to me in an increased and abundant way. Um, whoop. Enough for everyone. I am connected to the abundant flow of wealth and money that is available for everyone. The source of my supply is limitless. There is enough for everyone. And peace from Cryon. I feel the energy of Cryon Entourage and the soft whispers of a third language that reaches me from across the veil. I feel the energy of spirit, the energy of home, and I know that I have found an eternal place that is always within myself, that is always within me. Well, that is beautiful, Cancer. Cancer, that is beautiful. Back into your reading using the tarot now. And this is um, the Modern Love Tarot deck. Modern Love Tarot deck for Cancer. Let's give it a good shuffle like this a few times. And then clear the energy. Enough for everyone. I'm really connecting to that. There's enough for everyone. Hey, what is the issue with our lovely cancers? What's the issue with our cancers? Spirit guides, messages, please, from spirit guides, angels, higher self. Oh, disappointment. It's some kind of affair to do with a commitment that may be a long-standing commitment with you. The star in the reverse is like, okay, I'm going to have to realign my dreams or my goals. And if it's within in a certain situation, there's a little bit of disappointment here with that card. The Hierophant is suggesting that the challenge might be a commitment, then that the disappointment might be coming from an issue with the commitment here. Or some, someone who is committed to you that something has just kind of put a damper. Why? Six of Swords in the reverse. with the ace of wands and the reverse someone you were disappointed in is coming back to try to make things right <clears throat> for some this is somebody trying to come back wanting to make something right that maybe they had left when it was rocky now they're wanting to re they're wanting a redo here yeah yeah look eight of eight of cups in the reverse with the six in reverse guys so this is definitely saying that either you or somebody else who left is coming back ace of wands in reverse to try to make something work to try to make something work something they had left before in the past and they're wanting to come back they're wanting to come back I hear they're wanting to come back. Past energy. 
the four cancer past energy the magician and the two of cups so feeling like it was really good like real love but something just didn't manifest so that's strange because that's my real love card so it's like feeling like something was real love but uh nothing changed oh i'm sorry guys i don't hope i'm not getting me like sick <laughs> Um, so yeah, feeling like something wasn't manifested, um, even though it may have felt like true love to you, it may have felt real to you. What's the, um, what's the now moment about, so maybe this is something where, okay, it just didn't work out in the past, but maybe in the future or the present. Okay, two of swords, five of cups, letting go of, a, you know, disappointment, sadness in a person that you may be with, with the two of swords. Oh, the seven of cups on the bottom, a lot of um, not seeing things clearly and postponing decisions. So staying with someone that maybe, maybe this is not the right person for you to be with. I don't know. We have to let go of clinging to the past in order to move forward with this. I'd, it, the question is, how disappointed are you? I mean, it feels like you're you're ready and willing to give something a chance with someone, but um, letting go of the hurt. And, and not postponing a decision. Let me get some clarifying cards on this because this is definitely about a decision that needs to be made. I feel like there's a peaceful resolution for someone from the past. That's what the energy is really feeling like. Yeah, making something work out. Even if it's just so people can get along. So you're definitely wanting to make something work out. Now, as far as going after something or someone from your past, like a past commitment, I don't feel like you're going after this. Because the seven of wands is in the reverse. But you are committed to making this work. And it may be very committed to work in general right now with this abundance of the money um, coming out. Enough for everyone, abundance of money. What's the future energy looking like? Okay, giving up... Um, <laughs> Okay, if it's somebody from our past that we felt like was a, just an attachment for, I don't know, for some reason or another, we postponed splitting, even though technically it's like this card is like, but we are already apart anyway. And then this is completely letting go from any kind of things that you feel chained or tied to. I think it's moving on is what I think it is from the past is what it feels like. Even though this person might want to come back. What else do I have for this future energy? Five of Wands. Too much conflict and argument. So definitely letting go of <laughs> old vices. Not turning back to old ways. Um, or going back to old flings just for the sake. Let's see how you are feeling for Cancer. How are you feeling? Yeah, I don't feel like you're giving this person another chance. For a pinnacle energy, you're feeling kind of closed off. Yeah, you're not feeling open. You feel like you've just started to get some kind of power back. And you're not going to give it up again. Nine of pinnacle energy. What's this future energy clarified by? Might be a Capricorn that you're dealing with. There you go, the two cups. So, breaking free from anything that, even if it's, you know, this is something like, even this partnership, you thought it was true love, all this stuff. You still might be breaking three from attachments. Or there may be some conflict or argument now that it, maybe one person has given up vices or addictions. And then the other person, you know what I mean? There's another person that's, that's still in kind of an older energy. Ah, but you're willing with the seven of pentacles to have patience and put the investment in while this works out. I mean, you're willing. <clears throat> But are you going to go after it? Probably not. Probably not going to fight after this. In the environment, because like I said, feel, it's feeling a little closed off like you're focused on your own power right now. Eight of Wands. Ooh. <laughs> May have um, 
maybe another person or another situation coming in because I have the three of pentacles with the eight of wands. I feel like you're being hit with Cupid's arrow here. <laughs> and that this may be a heart type situation where it's more cooperative, more collaborative, or the person's more on your level. The eight of wands. It just feels like this person will help bring you forward. I, I know this message isn't for everybody, but some of you are going to move along because there's another option here that's maybe looking better. It feels like a new adventure to you. It feels feels like it's new. Now, of course, this could be the rekindling, too, or the starting up of something that just was very short in the beginning. Didn't work out in the beginning, and then now. It's, I mean, it could be something like that. What's the hopes or fears? I fear like you don't want to do something by yourself. Okay, the fear would be being in a situation where all we think about is our fears or our hands are tied. There's nothing we can do about a situation. Getting into one of those, like, now that my heart's involved, there's, you know, having love blow up in our face. That's a, it's a fear though. That's fear. And the outcome for cancer energy, outcome for cancer energy, Nine of Wands. It is someone from the past. And there's a rebirth here. I have Ten of Swords, even with the divorce certificate, there's still a rebirth. There's a rebirth happening. Okay, this is somebody that you know, and this is moving in a, in a passionate direction. That is what I'm getting, guys. I hope it resonated for you all. I know it might not resonate with all, but, um, feels like it. It feels like this is a winner. It, this is about, um, it could be about traveling and moving kind of fast too. Like something might pick up, look, travel on the move, backpack, get your compass. Adventure is yours. Get out of the city and enjoy the outdoors. Rainbows in our forest. No trees debate. Rainbow stand with love, not hate. All right. And we're going to get one of these. Foolishness or games here. You are worried by letting go of your frustration. Those who are responsible will perceive they have won. Well, they have won. The only one suffering is you. And then I have success and confidence that came out. And friends that care. I'm a magnet that attracts wonderful, balanced people into my life. And I'm blessed to have so many friends and people who care about me. You sure are, and you sure do. All right, send you love and light. Thanks, Cancer. Bye-bye.